Okay, so finally, brand new Fear of God hats arrived. Here's the thing. I can't wear them right now with my hair still like this, and I'll get it retwisted on September 1st. However, <laughs> we can at least take a look at the hats themselves, and I can steer you in a direction of somebody who's already reviewed them. And do these fit different than previous drops? Yeah, I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and I won. Yeah. Everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Swoosh T Yeezy. Thank you again so much for tuning in to another video, and this might be like a double upload. You may be watching this on a Sunday, which hey, <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in to both videos if you have. Now, in terms of the Fear of God Fall Winter 2021 collection, um, we know from Jerry posting that will drop on September 1st on Fear of God's website, which I understand shipping is a little bit slower when it comes from there, and then also a global release will happen on Friday, September 3rd which means oh, yeah september 1st on fearofgod.com september 3rd will be the global release which means paxon nordstrom essence and wherever else you choose to shop for fear of god i will possibly try on fearofgod.com just if i can secure what i want with a little headache i'll just do that and then if i miss out on anything that initial day i'll wait for the global release and we'll all see how it shakes out but we're here to talk about the hats today i picked up two colorways the orange and then more of the miami hurricane colorway now <clears throat> again i can't wear them right now it's really difficult okay the twist adds more volume than what i would normally wear with a fitted hat and i buy fitted hats to typically wear when my hair is straight which is just a totally different look of course but also uh, it just won't work in terms of me trying to put this hat on. I'm certainly not going to try and like stretch the hats out because I don't want that to happen. I want them to fit securely when my hair is straight. So I have two hats from the previous drop. So I have that Dodger blue colorway, the Royal, but I also have the black colorway. So black i picked up just because it's nice to have an all black fitted with just the old english white f on the front and then also the dodger blue colorway i just thought that was really nice and it was still available on Paxon. now that one is larger than what i would normally wear so i won't lie i may try and finesse fitting that hat come next week so if i can i promise i'll like post pictures or do a video or something who knows but i might try to finesse wearing that hat the other hats it's a no-go because those are a seven now from what i'm hearing the set like the hats from this drop actually fit more true to size which means they fit tighter than previous hats um and i found that out based on someone i follow he has great style great fear of god style he actually bought the same size that he did last time to try and you know get around how tight they fit no like now they they don't they don't or how loose they were last time and now they just don't fit him at all they're too small so he has to uh, he's actually selling some of those i don't think that's the case for me or even if it is the case once i try these on i think it'll be fine because again it fitting a little bit tighter when my hair is straight like it's just it's a night and day volume than what my hair is right now um but if you're looking for like fits like actually trying them on how they look on um i would say go check out ashton royale's channel i know he already dropped a video on the hats and he actually has another video about how to perfectly like bend and curve the bill of your hats which i need to go pay attention to as well um to make sure mine curve exactly how i want but looking at the brand new colorways so we have the orange which i'm super excited about this color um i it's crazy because a lot of people have told me like oh you look so great in orange well we're gonna test that theory because i plan to wear this hat a lot so if i look like a little basketball walking around everywhere you know, just give me a thumbs up and let me keep moving rocking. But I loved the uh, vibrancy of the orange hat. So I got the orange one that was in a size seven as well. And then I got this one, which I almost went for the sh just straight Kelly green hat. But I don't know why, because technically I already have the orange one now. I went for the Miami color <laughs> hat too. And I'm a big fan of this having it in hand. Um, now I pair a lot of green and orange together. So green and orange are absolute, like you can pair those together for some great fits. They're not necessarily complimentary because uh, I'm pretty sure it's red and green that are, but green and orange work really well together too, especially olive green and a bright orange. I do that a lot for outfits. So I have the Miami inspired colorway 
excited to rock both of these. You know there's an endless combo of kicks and hats that you could pull off with this, dep depending on what's in your closet. Um, whether it's the, you know, Reebok, the Question Low, or I could even pull out the Wave Runner. It's funny because people are like, you got the orange hat. You're, you're, you have those Wave Runners in mind. And I'm like, absolutely, of course I do. Just a little subtle coordination together um, for fits that I'll have on the way. And I'll just probably integrate these hats into more outfit grids on my Instagram at talkstylewith.tj as I style them when I can actually wear them or I may just start throwing them into fits and like you guys know until like mid-October I probably won't be able to wear them but that's cool that's all right just as long as you guys appreciate the entire ensemble that I'm going for um I I I rock with you so four hats now and again we're gonna test out if I can fit this one um, just because again, I'm getting my hair twisted again, but it's, a, it's going to be a different twist pattern. Men, you will have no idea probably what I'm talking about, but they won't be passion twists. They'll be paradise twists. So a little bit different. I think it's softer. It's their softer twist. So it may actually allow me to fit this hat on my head. If I can, I will absolutely, um, rock it for a few pictures, maybe even a video or so because this one is larger. It's a seven and an eighth. So it's larger at a seven and an eighth, um, which means I may be able to, I remember back in the day, I used to have a seven and a quarter hat and I don't, I don't know why I thought that those fit my head. I think my Yankees hat, I have like a 2009 world series hat and I'm pretty sure that may be like a seven and a quarter. So I might just test that hat, <laughs> hat out to next week to see if it fits. But new fog is always a good thing um, added. And again, I think it's interesting. People have asked the question, like, what's so special about the hat? Or no way I'd pay $65 for a hat. So I look at consumerism this way, but also just when it comes to personal preference. Um, it's always worth whatever you're willing to pay. So if you aren't willing to pay 65 for a hat, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There are people that aren't willing to pay $95 for a hoodie or $90 for sweatpants. But I think this is how I look at it also. If there are ever things put out at the market price and I think like, wow, that's too expensive. I wasn't the intended audience because if you see the value in that based on your own perspective and spending habits, you don't have a problem with that price. That price is just fine to you. For others, it may not be. Like for a uh, Derek Jeter Hall of Fame hat, when those just released, it, they I think they're 60 or $65, right? They're specialty hats. And the 65 is warranted to me and justified. Now, this is also considered still a designer hat because it's a collaboration of New Era and a designer fear of God. So the price makes sense to me. I get that it might not to others. And if you just don't give a damn about the brand, then you won't care about the hats or anything else coming out. But if you are uh, interested in the brand, again, hopefully you secure a W of some sort in the fall winter 2021 drop. I need to just set some parameters and get like one color, one new color and one new piece. And maybe that's it. Maybe that's where I need to just, just toe the line. Cause we know it can get bad and like I'll end up trying to get all these sets and things together and it'll turn into like a, you know, $800 day. That's not what I'm trying to go for. Okay. I'm not trying to go for that. I'm trying to go for like a $300 day and just keep it mild, keep it cute. Okay. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out. <laughs>